Hello, honey booze, and a very warm welcome to The Link Up. This is the show that keeps you updated on our day-to-day -day issues that we face here in Mzansi and all around the world. And of course, I've got the beautiful ladies who will be engaging with me on this topic. How are you, ladies? We're good, What's babe. Up? I'm Jen. How are you? I'm good. I am excited for this topic. It's a, it's a weird, interesting kind of topic. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> <Obviously> selfish. <laughs> yeah. So today we'll be talking about what famously selfish. So basically famously selfish it is famous people who are greedy selfish with opportunities money and all of that so ladies um i want to know from you guys what is the difference between a famous person and a celebrity um i think fa famous people uh it's like you were not necessarily looking for fame but you did something that impacted the world or whoever to the point that like people know your name now regardless yes. of whether you like you're just not looking for it and then celebrities it's like the main thing is to be, be on the spotlight like mm -hmm. see me this is what i do and um the most important thing is, is is the fame itself that's what i think the difference between a famous person and a celebrity okay please give like some some uh, examples as to people who are famous and also celebrities so that people can understand um the difference yeah <laughs> don't mention me well um i think um bonang is a celebrity yes i'd like to believe bonang is a celebrity and Bill Gates is famous. Yes. You know, he's yes. not in like up in people's faces. Yes. Um, attending events, having people to uh, and whatever. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. But people just like generally follow him. Yes. Yeah. Well, like he's just J J J. He he doesn't put effort into it. He is people effortlessly he, famous. You people, know. Mm, people yeah. know his name J J J without putting the effort, without him making sure that they know me. Yes. You know? Yes. So yes. I he's think not in the industry of I need to get known. The spotlight, the most yeah. Okay, so let's talk about celebrities. You know the recent um, a drama <laughs> with uh, Somizam Tlongo as to that he stole a show from somebody. And that is quite selfish because he is everywhere. Young people are looking for opportunities and all of that. But then he has taken an opportunity away from someone. So let's talk about how celebrities can be selfish at times. Um, you know, I get it to a certain extent, the greed, but um, as in Asian, they're just like super selfish. Yes. Um, with this case, Kasomizi, I mean, the person apparently pitched the entire thing to them and whatever. And then four years later, six years later, they stab him at the back, mm. you know, thinking that he has forgotten about it mm -hmm. and whatever. And I mean, the, the, that's honestly not fair because the, the, the other person is trying to make a living out yes. of the thing, you yes. know. So now but they've been greedy because they like, but uh, no, this money is for us. We need to be getting this money and whatever mm -hmm. and whatever. But in, in, in terms of um, opening up the industry, because, you know, we forever like that, open up the industry, um, old artists should make way for new artists and yes. whatever. But someone asked, but, uh, but if we do that, then how do we get to pay our bills, mm -hmm. you know? So now there has to be that greed. I need to make sure that I audition so that I get roles, so that I pay bills, so that, you know, I yes. need to put food on the table and whatever. So I think this whole selfishness can be two ways. Yeah, well, the selfish and then the selfish, selfish. Oh. <laughs> I think okay. it's I think it's very, very selfish what he did. Like, yeah. um, like it's very inhumane because I'm not saying that he shouldn't look for he, look out for his table, feed his family or whatever. Mm -hmm. But we know Somizi has a lot of platforms. We know that, like, we know, everybody knows Somizi. Yes. And, yes. Empowered and he, that person. he could have empowered this person and given this show to them. Like, there was no need for him to do that. Mm -hmm. So it has become such a power trip that, like, someone, it's like, it is a power trip that people are constantly on the same position and there's no doors opening for other people and stuff like that. Like, I could become famous because of what I do today, yes. but not in a way that I'm turning into a celebrity mm -hmm. because there's a very, very thin line. True. So, like, I think it's, it's just something that, you know, they should just reconsider how they take this whole thing. And, you know, as, as us ordinary people, it's like, you know, we're starting to see greed because there are really some really nice um, celebrities out there that yes. are not selfish, yes. that are not greedy. I mean, there's really, really good people out there. So... Yeah. The celebrities who give out yes. like charity works, mm -hmm. they give out to and the my, community. You and know? my problem also is the whole thing of, like, 
I mean, you mentioned charity and the whole thing of like having to take a picture to show that this is what I'm doing. And, yes. and it's like, why, what's the purpose of you having to show mm -hmm. that you're doing a charity work? Like just quietly give. Because yes. what or are we going to, are you going to gain respect from us because you're showing mm -hmm. us that you're doing this for people? Yes. Or what? Because I think it's, I think it's selfish too that that's another thing that, you know, you are taking pictures to show that you've given someone, you're announcing to people that you've given someone so people can like see you as a good person and, mm -hmm. and everything. And I don't think it's necessary. I think it's selfish because they want to be more in the spotlight. Like, oh, he did good. Like, yeah, oh, Ginny, it's all about the spotlight. Ginny did it's so well. It's first. really, it's not about the actual hand that I gave because yes. I probably have more than enough and what I've given is not even going to affect me. Okay, let's talk about how celebrities treat um, their supporters, right? You guys see on Instagram, um, on social media platforms, they flex on mm -hmm. us, they, they, they fans, their supporters, people who actually put them out there. Even with their songs, they... Why us took a shame? Yes, in <laughs> Last week, last week, when was it? Two you weeks know? ago, like people, unemployed people were called roaches. Exactly, my Roaches, phone. and the next thing, like... The same person wants us to support her perfume and you it's know, so confusing. That's the thing with me. You can't be out here like each time the, we disagree with you and then you pull up that, but I got money and y'all ain't nothing. Yes. Hard, you know, yes. because first of all, you got that money because we paying for your music or whatever. Yeah, well, so I mean, guys, um, for me that it's, it's, it's like a low blow yeah mm, it you know, is it so is a low blow let's talk about but also um with oh, that being said sorry, but yeah. also i mean naughty at times we can be too much you know we can be too much you're attacking celebrities we we, we, we bullies and mm -hmm. then we forget that celebrities are people like they're human beings they've got blood they've got feelings and whatever and we expect them to not retaliate we expect them to be True. bigger people because they're celebrity and because um people look up to them and therefore what you now we need to do whatever it is that we want to say whatever we want you know so i don't think it's fair yes yeah, it's, it's <laughs> another country it's another contributing factor to the selfishness i think like it's not you only know? like financial uh, selfishness yes. or things like that it's that like i'm also i also have feelings like mm. i also and you know what when when someone says something that like uh, that that's hurting when I, like your feelings is alcohol obviously you're gonna give something that's like gonna hit harder yeah. 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 Yes. so i mean guys <laughs> there's no need but like ish because we bully them we bully them yeah but nonetheless Abanya, they don't respect us i mean you'd be excited to sing a certain celebrity a mall or whatever yo so and so because i was i was i was reading a joke someone joked about it on twitter and like it was a big thing but um apparently um she was at some restaurant with Ubonang. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, picture. And then when she I was, was like, like, go eat, darling. Eat your food, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but also, yo, like, guys, that is so brutal. <laughs> Speaking about that, we also have, like, um, celebrities these days. Seba Fagama Club now, you know, even with their fans, they, they just don't care anymore. So I want to know, like, do we still look up to celebrities? Do you think celebrities are still role models we can consider them as role models with everything that is happening Are personally not south african celebrities or uh, as a whole because someone said that in south africa we don't have celebrities we have influencers <laughs> <laughs> because none of them have bodyguards whatsoever like we all queuing in a line and but no jokes <laughs> <laughs> Just. Um, I, <laughs> I think like people shouldn't really entirely look up to celebrities like I mean, every, I'm not saying that someone might not have good advice, but there's this very much worshipy vibe. Like, man, like now I'm making this person more important. Like, I want to be like boy T. I want to talk like boy T. Yeah. Like, right now, if I say anything about Beyonce, they will come after me. They will, gonna, the whole hive will come after me. So that's how, I like, it's, she, she literally, you see what I mean? Yeah, like, I'm not a fan. <laughs> I'm, I'm so ashamed. I used to be a fan of Beyonce. I know. Oh, okay. Like, I mean, but, that time, but honestly, I don't think people should. I, I mean, I mean, like, anymore. I think, I mean, you're gonna see, I mean, uh, guys, from growing up, you see certain people and you're like, Bana, yo, La is so cute, she's nice, she's whatever. I like, you, I wanna be like her when I grow up, mm. all those kind of things, you know? Like, it, it, it just happens naturally. Yeah. yeah but yeah. I think, 
With that being said, you need to, uh, we need to groom Abandona from the younger age. Abandona, oh, okay, cool. They're going to look up to a certain artist and mm -hmm. whatever, or a, a certain celebrity. Or but we need to make them understand that before all that, before you loving this person and going all out, they need to first have a self-love. Why not? You need to first love yourself, appreciate yourself, because that person is human. That person yes. is going to make mistakes and whatever. Yes. Yeah, but that, perf that person is not perfect. Yeah, yes. but so, you need to embrace yourself. You need to love yourself before you can. I mean, I feel like if when you have that self-love, then it's not going to be an issue of mana now wanna whoever this person is an idol yeah but so you're mm. gonna see as a person you admire and then like wow shout out for what you've yeah. done like yeah. you know it's encouraging to 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 the fact that like you know you can you can stand out for for the people in your, com yes. your community and you've sh you've shown so bright that it'll make me feel like i could be somebody not necessarily for the spotlight mm -hmm. but i can actually achieve something in life i think it's not bad to look up to people and their yes. achievements to be like you know Oh, it's a I, motivation. I, I, yes, a motivation. Yes. But there's this thing that just goes way beyond just motivation and everything that like fans we like fall victim like to. So I think like we should just we should draw the line maybe yeah. to some extent because I mean you see the case of R. Kelly like the case of R. Kelly people would bow down to him and stuff but like what the things that he's done like are completely yeah, 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 yeah. awful and. Yeah. Um, so it's just that like people need to draw the line in also realizing that celebrities are human being, human beings and everything. And I mean, money is not what makes you. Okay, let's talk about uh, the celebrities who actually help people who have foundations. Yes. Um, they're known as global citizens, right? So let's talk about that because um, the celebrities that help out, it's not all too bad. Not every celebrity is bad. True. Yes, they do do some dodgy things and whatnot, but then they also human will all make mistakes, right? And they, they, they help out where they need to help out. But then there's also another fact that they don't use their platforms the way they are supposed to use them. True, true, because um, and on, on some of the, like, the issues that we're actually facing, mm -hmm. like the current issues that Mrs. Face are like, up in South Africa more especially. I mean, it's celebrities there too, for example, they still like youngings. You know, mm -hmm. they understand we have the same struggles. And don't. if we're talking about the xenophobia, they're quiet. If we're talking about putting South Africa first, they're quiet. Mm -hmm. ne? If you're talking about um, police brutality and whatever, um, government or corrupt and whatever, they distance themselves. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I feel like King Adbona, they just like, but it, maybe it, it does not um, affect them. But at the same time, I'm just like, but I don't understand. Like honestly, they they they, they only use the platforms that are for banner, yo guys, buy my whatever, you know, like all those kind of things. But when it comes for them real to real. tackle like real life issues, mm -hmm. they shy away. Yes. You know? And like what you mentioned, how like you know people make mistakes and stuff. Yes, yes. Like there's a recent situation where I I think it was a great gesture that Casper did such a thing. Do you remember a clip that went trending mm. maybe two years ago of this homeless child talking about how God is, is going to help me? You see, I'm struggling right now, but God is going to help me. He's going to send someone to help me and take me to school and everything. So it happens that like it might have been selfish that Casper used that little clip for his own music video or sorry, for his, his, his one of his tracks on his songs. Mm. And then later on, just before he was about to release his album or I don't know, or maybe in the in just in the midst of it, he or just soon after maybe people heard the clip, he started looking for the boy mm. who he put in the clip. Mm -hmm. So it's like people were going on about like how can you be selfish? You didn't ask for permission, but at the same time it's like um, like now this kid has a great advantage. He's now going to school. Like Casper has helped him a but whole lot. I don't think it takes yeah. out. It, it doesn't take out the fact that maybe he, he could have like consented. He really and could, then he could have consented. From the guy, and now he, it's like people might know that this is what he did, and they might say something. So maybe he might be doing that gesture just to protect to himself. Cover up. So it's like also selfish, but also he might have done it from his heart. Yes. So we, it's like very. I don't know, man. Like something has to change within this Great. whole thing. Mm -hmm. All right. So before we wrap up, um, during the COVID nineteen, eh, uh, so Mizi had a foundation where he was giving out parcels and everything, and also Bonang has like um, a foundation where he's paying girls' fees. You know, there's a lot that celebrities are doing, but then why is it that us we only 
focus on the bad stuff and um, neglect the, the, the good things that they do. There's mostly hype around the bad things only. Why is that? Unfortunately, Geshem, like, I mean, it is what it is because, I mean, you could do all good, Elifini, but as soon as you do that one wrong thing mm -hmm. and then we turn away from the good that you've done, mm -hmm. yeah, well, so it just, like, cancels out all the good that you've done, yeah, well, but, I mean, we always give people benefit of it out, second chances is a five. <laughs> you know so many so, second chances you know what i mean so i mean as much as like i mean we, it's not like we don't see the good they do you know but i mean i i think it comes from a point of maybe disappointment yes. you know but and i think also we forget that they also humans we mm. think that maybe they like super humans and don't yes. know me about they can never make mistakes mm. and whatever and whatever you know because there are a whole lot of celebrities like honestly because i know also the bassets are not foundation like mm -hmm. it's, it's, people are helping out celebrities mm -hmm. are doing good you know? but yeah, it's just that one mistake about Enzio and then be ready to attack yeah and I think something should actually really change around the whole celebrity thing from their side like we can we can talk as fans and talk and talk and um also encourage each other as fans like guys mm -hmm. let's not be mean to the to the to the celebrities and everything but I think they should also somehow use their platforms for better. Yes. It's like, let it be less about you as a person, but empower other people. Because mm -hmm. you are on the spotlight and people like you. So if you if you actually get to a point of relating with people, because nowadays we can't relate. Mm -hmm. Like they, they're flexing on us all the time, man. Like they, they, I buy, like they buy something and it's like, look where I'm at in life and you are still down guys, there. guys, I don't think that's fair though. It's unfair. Why, why, no, I'm asking about why is that, like, because, like, I mean, they living the life, guys. I know, like, they I'm, in not, their I'm not saying there's them. anything we wrong. We also flex. I'm not saying there's anything wrong. No, I'm just saying. Flex. I'm saying what's more important right now is them flexing than them empowering. Okay. But they should flex though at times. They, they should hope. definitely flex. I'm saying that they should. <laughs> Like, empower more than flexing. Well, unfortunately, ladies, we have to leave it right there. This was a very, very interesting topic. Different opinions came out. <laughs> But um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode as much as we did. Please don't forget to leave your comments down below. Like and subscribe to this channel. And also like our page on all social media platforms. We are at All Day TV. Until next time, from me and the ladies, bye.